Hi, it's Player Ban! Hey everyone, welcome back to Loretta. Alright, in this video, I included all the scenes where Loretta can kill the other characters in the game. Alright, let's get started. He's out back. Walter's out back. Why don't you come on in? Walter! It's Margaret! You in there? Did something happen? Oh yes. Why don't you run your little head about it? You'll be joining him shortly. So long, Margaret. Oh, snap! Well, I guess that's another ending. That's a lot of snips for an artery. <laughs> Mickey's comeback. <laughs> sure is a hot out today. I could murder a glass of water. <laughs> oh boy. What smells so good, Mrs. Harris? <laughs> There's a tons of blood stain right here. So, what? What? What happens if we, if we just tell him that uh, we killed her, or what happens if we say, "Call me Laura"? Or I'll say this, your dead girlfriend. Call me Laura. I'm making dumplings. I sure do love me some dumplings. Anyway, afraid to say your car has outlived its usefulness, uh, Miss uh, Laura. I changed the oil so it will stand a couple more rides, but that's as good as it'll get, I think. Pity, it was a good car. Kelly told me you know your way around cars. My father was a mechanic, so I've been fixing and driving cars since I was a kid. Also, do we not say that uh, the, his girlfriend's dead? Not, not to mention it's a real hit with the ladies. Speaking of, uh, where's Kelly? Whoa, purple text? What is this? And then here's the red text. Okay, okay. I'll do. I'll, I'll keep on doing the red text, and we can come back, and then we can do the purple text. All right, or the pink purple text. She's still sleeping. Oh, okay. Mickey walks over and dips a greasy finger into the bowl of sauce. <laughs> That's unsanitary. If that dummy can do one thing, it's sleep. Whoa. Okay, so it's like the pink text mean like we're gonna like hit on Mickey or something? Alright, let's do- let's keep on doing the red text. Do something like that again and I'll put you to sleep too. What'd you say? Oh! Okay. I, I, I guess Loretta wasn't kidding about that. Call me Laura. I'm making dumplings. I sure do love me some dumplings. Anyway, afraid to say your car has lived its usefulness, Mrs. Uh, Laura. I changed the oil so it'll withstand a couple more rides, but that's as good as it'll get, I think. Pity, it was a good car. Kelly told me you know your way around cars. My father was a mechanic, so I've been fixing and driving cars since I was a kid. Not to mention, it's a real hit with the ladies. Speaking of, uh, where's Kelly? Okay, here goes the seductive purple and pink text. I heard older models are more exciting than a ride. That true? <laughs> That's an interesting pickup line. Mickey walks over and dips a greasy finger into the bowl of sauce. Oh, jeez. Well, that depends, Laura. But older models definitely have some class, some spice to them. If you know what I mean. All right, so I know picking this, she's literally going to take that cleaver and like slam it into his face. So we got to do the purple, purple pink text. You really are slump the nails. What's your tattoo mean? This one? I got it in the Navy. Doesn't mean anything special. I always wanted to get one. Oh yeah? And where would you get it? Here? A little lower. Here? Here? Jeez Louise. Wait, we shouldn't do this here. Kelly might hear us. 
I want you to take me in the hay. Oh, okay, so they they did the deed in the hay or in, the, or in whatever this thing's called. He smells so good. Never done in the hay before. Hey, wait. Is that a joke? Laura, uh, this ain't funny. The heck? Open up, you hear me? I said open up! Open up! Alright, so she she did the D with him and then she suffocated him with corn or sorry, wheat, whatever that is. Who the heck could that be? Oh right, the demonic milkman. <laughs> what do you know? Uh, are you out of your effing mind? This is a four hundred dollar suit, you dumb c that's his last words. <laughs> Dude, woman, you stabbed me and this suit cost me 400 bucks. Ah! He's in the whale. Uh, begging your pardon? <laughs> Goodbye, investigator. Uh, Loretta, you, uh, doing okay? <laughs> okay, just, just skips to this. I gave away the manuscript. Fitzpatrick casually took his checkbook out of his silk, uh, jacket pocket and wrote me a nice fat check. I couldn't believe my eyes. Thirty thousand dollars. Life changing money. <laughs> I've gotta admit, Mrs. Harris, I didn't expect you to come. <laughs> I didn't expect to either. Oh, this is totally new. I cashed half of it, took Chamber's car and headed west. I didn't know where I was going. I just wanted to get away from the farm and never think about it again. I kept driving until the very last sprig of wheat was long behind me. An intoxicating dry wind blew pillars of road dust into the air. When I finally tired of the road, I ran to the room at a roadside motel. Walter, Kaylee, Mickey, what do Chambers want? Turns out Disney didn't want me finding out the answer to that one. Did I even, did I even want to find out, honestly? Margaret, you could say she got off lucky. I only did what I had to. Bury Kaylee and Mickey in the backyard. Not too deep though. They'll probably be found soon, but I'll be over the hill and far, far away by then. Am I a bad person? Maybe. But I became a master of my own fate, Walter. At least they published your book. See, I saved your legacy at least. I haven't been sleeping well lately. My head's pounding and I got this weird feeling like spiders are scratching at the inside of my skull. I... I'm tired. Gonna take a shower. Who's Chambers? He's not dead in this storyline. Good evening, ma'am. Will you be joining the festivities? What's the occasion? Oh, you know. But you're early, Loretta. You were in a hurry, and look what came of it. No, ma'am, this won't do at all. Let's try again. Wait. Oh, you're awake? I thought you died already. Uh, I'm bleeding. What are you... Oh, hold on a minute. Let me get up. Any last words? I said, wait a minute, dang it. Want a needle in your eye, do you? What, not feeling so tough anymore? Beating up a woman in her own home? Listen, I got nothing on you. Uh, I just need it Harris. I told you he's dead and rotten in the well behind you. And you're gonna keep him company. 
Now give me your name. Let me go. You don't want to be a murderer, do you? You don't know nothing about me, mister. Start talking or I'll put a bullet in your knees. Okay, sweetheart. Flattery won't get you anywhere. Okay, okay, just, just relax. Look at me. I'm not going anywhere. Alright, here it goes. What do you guys want with my book? What book? Lady, are you out of your mind? He tries to laugh, but it quickly dissolves into pain coughing. Did you really think these books were paying for your livelihood? A nice house, a great car. Open your eyes, sweetheart. Your husband's just another run-of-the-mill crook. What are you saying? They kidnapped a child and tortured it to death. You ever see the name Nancy Olsen in the news? The old Baron's daughter? Of course I remember. It was printed everywhere. The ransom was paid, but the girl was never found. And she never will be. Well, she might. In some field somewhere with her head cut off, that is. The family eventually learned Wallace was involved. Something to do with the union. So they hired me. You're lying. Hey, Wallace confessed everything to me before he croaked. Sold his little errand boys all the way down the river. Alright, here goes. Enough talk. Time to die. You know, even if you are telling the truth, that's Walter's problem, not mine. Wait, you, you got it all wrong. No, I, I got it right. I don't give two craps anymore. <laughs> no, wait! Oh, snap. So what happens again if we go here? 